Hello Capricorn, this is Crystal with We Are Magic and this is your October reading. I know it's late. So, uh, but I feel like this. Time is fluid. You are the master of your universe, no one else. And um, when people see this video, it may have already happened for them or they may be going through it already. That's the thing, time is very, very fluid. You are the master of your time, okay? All right, so Capricorn, I'm Crystal. Welcome to my channel, We Are Magic, where we awaken to our higher selves and true mystical powers. Remember Capricorn, this is a collective reading, so if it does not resonate, it is not for you. Check your other placements. Um, for my subscribers, hi. I'm gonna be changing up the tarot because, and I know y'all love the tarot, I get it, it's fun. Um, but there's so many tarot readers on YouTube and on social media. I'm still gonna do it, don't get me wrong, it's like this is still gonna be a thing for us, you know. But We Are Magic was not really created for tarot. It was um, <clears throat> told to me by my ancestors to start this channel to awaken the divine beings, awaken the giants. So that is truly my main, main purpose. My main goal, yeah, that. So Capricorn, let's get your reading started. I have cleared the energies. I shuffled these cards last night, but I really want them ready for you, Cap, okay? One of my favorite signs, one of my bestie signs. And um, I just love Capricorn. I love Capricorn. I vibe with Capricorn. I vibe with, look, here I go. I'm shuffling, why not, right? I vibe with Virgo. Um, I literally vibe with everybody. I'm Scorpio. Yeah, much your average one. Okay, so Capricorn, let's go. Thank you, Spirit. I also burned some ancestor money for your peeps, for those who are watching, because I feel like everybody should be winning, even the spirits. Oh, sorry. So we're tuning into this new moon energy. We're tuning in to the 1010 portal. So where your video was late, Capricorn, you're going to get a 1010 portal reading too. Look at you. Mm. Full moon and Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Okay, um, you guys are waiting for something. Um, Gemini, that's um, yin-yang energy. That is duality. That is where <clears throat> you embrace your shadow side with your light side and you embody and become one, right? Um, Gemini is the energy. They, they like to pick them kind of bipolar. But one thing I do know about Geminis, not all of you, if it doesn't resonate with you, please do not get offended. But a, a lot of my Gemini friends are hilarious because they are all about <laughs> stress and like, what about this? What about that? So Capricorn, I feel like you're being conflicted like a Gemini is what I'm feeling. <laughs> and you're like, and Capricorn is usually very, I'm gonna think about it. Anyway, right? So the answers you need are coming to whatever is on the brain, okay? A time for healing, Basalmic Moon. Yeah, so um, some of you Geminis, uh, Geminis, sorry, spirit, sorry, Capricorn. Some of you, I gotta stop looking at that full moon Gemini. Some of you Capricorns are going through a very hurtful time right now, may have came from it in the past energy and with new moon energy, and especially with this 1010 portal, what you don't wanna do is bring that basic energy over to this side, right? No, I'm not making light of your pain or your hurt, but if you see a perpetual cycle happening, it's time to take over your life. You are, again, like I said, the master of your universe, right? Um, so it's a time for healing. It's, a t it's you time. It's time for Capricorn time. It's me time. It's not time for you to cater to everyone else and worry about their feelings. It is time to worry about Capricorn's feelings. It is time to go within and see why these patterns are happening. Okay? Look under the deck. What do you need to release, Waning Moon? So I think you have the answers within. I think you already know what you need to do. 
okay? All right, thank you, Spirit. I'm gonna put those there. All right, let's see what tarot has. So it looks like you're healing, it looks like you're leveling up, as usual, Capricorn, because you are my CEOs of the astrological fam. Um, <clears throat> wish I had your organization skills. Jeez, you and Virgo, man, goals. But anyway, let's see, Capricorn, what's going on? This is for, um, of course, the, the big three, sun, moon, rising, or wherever it's very prevalent in your chart. You know your birth chart, and if you don't, I suggest you go on Cafe Astrology right now and go look it up. <laughs> Cafeastrology.com. Free birth chart reading. Read your entire existence. We'll read you to filth. You'll be like, wow, this is why my life's been this way. Man, if, they, if we had known Gnostic, mystic teachings, like the new star seeds now coming in, you know, Gen Z, millennials, all them, where, you know, Gen X finally woke up and was like, hey, religion's used to control us. Let's dial that back. So, yeah, we started teaching the millennials and um, the Gen Z children, and now the newest children. Oh, my third eye is pulsing. Um, we taught them the truth. Like, you're a sovereign being, you know. And... Uh, if we knew what they know now, oh, we would have been unstoppable. Five of Swords. Okay, main theme this month is the Five of Swords. So backstab, betrayal, shenanigans, you're hurt. Someone you cared about a lot has done you wrong, Capricorn. And um, you're hurt by it, right? You're hurt by it. This may be a friend. This may be a loved one. Um, family member, take it as is but the main thing i see why it says um it's what you need to release and it's a time for healing and the answers you need are coming so i think you're conflicted capricorn you're torn on what sorry i like is really bright torn on what you need to do okay thank you spirit Ooh, capricorn i'm not used to y'all having this type of reading this is for october 2021 or wherever it and ends up on their page this can also be timeless. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, it's a heavy energy. It's it's not cool. It is not. No, they didn't. No, they did not. Okay. Yeah, the hanged man is um, <clears throat> the past influence. Five of Swords energy, I think that is Aquarius. Um, yes. This is called the hanged one in this tarot. <laughs> but yeah, the hanged man, um, I think the hanged man is uh, Pisces. Is it Pisces? Yeah, Pisces energy. Um, past influences. <laughs> so sorry, friend. I just realized. Please do not get in my comments saying I'm putting your personal business there. Just don't even say anything. Don't even come in. Um, <laughs> she deals with Pisces. Uh, yeah, so you the hanged one okay you from the past past influences you were trying to see things from a different perspective you kind of held space you kind of was like well let me see why this is happening the way it is you know i'm gonna look at it from their perspective and see why they feel the way they do <clears throat> so you could say interesting i mean i call my other capricorn friend <laughs> She's a whole scientist. She's an Anunnaki. You know, she's back. And um, she loves studying human consciousness. She's a whole Syrian. Plan a Sirius? Yeah, I'm going woo. Don't care. Um, but <laughs> she's hilarious. And uh, she has come from a place of not hurt feelings anymore. Because, yes, Capricorns do hurt. I hate when people say they act like y'all are very sensitive. Earth beings are sensitive beings. You're connected to Gaia. You are Gaia, basically. Um, and she's coming from a place of wounded to interesting, you know. So if someone's coming at you this month, Capricorn, you'll be like, it's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Obstacles is the Ace of Swords. <laughs> you don't have a rough month. <laughs> you don't have to claim this. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, it's just a warning. You don't have to take it as bad. It's just letting you know that spirit has seen where you've been what you've been going through and they know you're over it and so are they okay 
Ace of Swords. Um, this is Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, Ace of Swords, you know, communication. Okay. Communicating this month will be an obstacle for you because Mercury is going in, well, is in retrograde and doing the most. I know from personal experience is why my videos haven't been out <laughs> flowing for October. It's a lot of Mercury shenanigans going on in my life. I promise Mercury, I would not go off on people or cuss people out. So Mercury was like, bet. Bet. I promised Mercury, no matter how much I miss my ex, because for some reason, all the good times are popping in my head. I told Mercury, who's my ex is a Capricorn. If you're watching, what's up, homie? I promised Mercury I would not reach out to my ex no matter how much I thought about him. And Mercury was like, bet. Sorry, Kelly. Bet. So yeah, I get that Capricorn. You want to reach out to somebody, you want to talk to somebody, you want to communicate, but it's an obstacle for you, isn't it, Capricorn? It's an obstacle. <clears throat> Possibilities this month is seven of wands. Oh, yes, baby. You're defending your position. This bad bitch right here. I mean, she's fighting in a mini skirt, some tights and some heels, and that adorable black. You know how we love black Capricorn. She's like, I'm the baddest, and I will still whoop everyone's ass in here. I don't give a fuck. Capricorn, possibilities this month. <laughs> You're going to defend your position. <laughs> like I said, you, 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 this was your past influence. <laughs> this was your past. Hang man, like, mm. all right. I honor your experience, or as my friend and I say, we, we say honor your experience, but when that experience truly never happened in our reality, it happened in their reality, but it did not happen. Kelly, the trident is stabbing me. Um, it happened in our, it didn't happen in our reality. Like it did not play out the way they say, because narcissists love to come for you, right? They, makeup scenarios they attack and when they can't find something to attack you on they'll just come up with anything it's just disgusting um so it's <laughs> we're saying well i i respect your experience or honor your experience or and then inside we're like delusion it's a whole del that never happened that that didn't happen over here it didn't happen over here so yeah capricorn stand up for yourself boo you're not doing anything wrong do not let these people make you feel that you're doing something wrong right now. If you are under attack, Capricorn, if you are dealing with a stank energy, this is your life. Handle it. Handle it, sis. Handle it, son. All right. Thank you, spirit. All right. Let me um, do some clarification. <laughs> let me use these. No, Angel. Sorry. That's the first one to look at. My bad. I love all my tarot cards, so it's like they're all like, pick me, pick me. I'm like, maybe oh, next reading. Okay. We'll do some clarifications to make sure I'm just not making, what time is it? 13, I'm supposed to be a 15 minute reading, Capricorn. Look what y'all doing, it's your fault. Cause I'm chugging, just chatting it up with y'all. All right. All right, we need clarifications. <laughs> a prees. Five of Swords, it's the main theme. We kind of already know what it is. Spirit, we need clarification for Capricorn for October for Five of Swords. I'm so excited for the 1010 reading I'm going to give you. Clarification. Thank you. All right. So, um, yeah, you had seeds, well planted. You got these seven of Earth or Pentacles. Love these cards, by the way. So, you know, the reason why you're upset because um, all the efforts and investments that you made into the future of this thing or this situation is disappointing. So something, um, Earth usually deals with family, home, um, money, job, career, school, anything you could touch, feel, see, taste, anything materialized, right? Anything that you are grounded to. Um, the need for patience. You were patient. Um, a time for resting and planning for the future and then unnecessary worry. So, yeah, they've put you in a place of unnecessary worry. They've put you in a place of stress. And that's why um, you need to release old stank. All right. Let me do another one. 
Nah, we can. No, nah, they're hollering for me. They want me to pick them. All right. I need clarification on why is the Ace of Swords spirit? <laughs> I already know. I already told y'all. I know some people like clarification. Why is the Ace of Swords? Why is communication an obstacle? Because I'm telling you right now, guys, tap into your higher self right now. Talk to your ancestors. Go back to the ancient ways of authentic spirituality. All right. Um, when you call in the light, you're calling in your divine source power. Right. So when I say so I'm saying I call in the light, I call in my device, my divine source energy, my power, my chi. Right. So yeah, that's what you're doing. Ace of Swords, why is this an obstacle for Capricorn? Because for the record, we are light beings and we are dark beings because we are both, because there is no separation. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it. The moon. Yeah. So this is um, a Pisces card again. I know the technically cancer the moon is a cancer planet but in tarot this represents pisces again so friend i'm so sorry please don't fight me um yeah heavy pisces energy in y'all's reading and heavy air energy and heavy fire energy i mean y'all are out here you hear me um so something doesn't feel right in your intuition <laughs> And um, you're just ready to go off about it. You're just ready to say what you feel. You're ready, honestly, to match energy. I know they tell us not to do that. They tell us to take a higher road. And you have, baby. Capricorn, you took the higher road. This is for some of you, not all of you. Some Capricorns do not take higher roads. They actually are the mean guys. But, um, yeah, for this Capricorn, they took the higher road. They did everything right. They planted, they invested, they manifested. My left ear's ringing. They did the things that they knew they needed to do on their end. But <laughs> the situation did not change. If anything, it got crazier. And so now you're in a situation where you have to defend yourself. And you've done nothing wrong, Capricorn. Okay? I mean, shh. That could be a, this could be an employment reading, a love reading, all the things. Personal, friendship. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Wherever it resonates in your life, that's where you put it. Let me do a romance angel for you guys. I really wanted this done in 15 minutes, but sorry, Cap. It's going to be long. Spirit, what romance advice do you have for the goats, the greatest of all times? My Capricorn babies. See how I looked? I want to make sure it wasn't upside down. What messages do you... That one's broken out. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You got to know you've done everything right and there's nothing to be worried about, right? Let me do my um, wellness cards. My clarify clarifiers. Thank you, Spirit. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And faith in you. Faith in yourself. Not faith in the situation. Faith in yourself. Because this is what this is all about right now. You are fighting for yourself. You are coming to the realization that is your time, Capricorn. It's your time, right? I'm just shuffling these little things like our poker cards. <laughs> All right, we need um, one more card, please. And then I'm going to pull a divine power affirmation for the month. And then we will pull a activation for um, 1010 portal for my caps. And hopefully I'll have us done in 30 minutes. I'll split these. You're not flipping out. I'm so sorry this is late, guys. But I know y'all love me. Capricorn becoming late. Okay. <laughs> Spirit. All right. Um, Capricorn, if someone has hurt you recently or in the past, could it? let it go. Replaying the same cycle 
over and over again hinders your future and your success because you are literally keeping your energy in the past because energy emotions is energy and motion right so if you are tapping into the frequency of being a victim you will keep yourself in that situation capricorn do you understand i hope you understand me baby so with that being said cassette <laughs> outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head i am so guilty of this capricorn i'm not attacking you i'm so guilty of this scorpio of course we're gonna play it this is how we keep our vengeful shit in our head like i'll never forgive them for what they did to me but yeah that's why they're telling you to trust the situation is calling for you to have faith so whatever situation is that's hurting you this month or has been obviously hurting you for a while let it go, let it go. And you're like, Crystal, I can't, I'm in pain. Who are you talking to? A Capricorn destroyed my heart in a million pieces. I know how you feel. I still love this person. But that's a good thing. I'd rather love than hate. I don't want to hate any of my exes. I really don't. Because why would I give them that power? What I look like. So yeah, I don't hate my exes. I love them from afar. You know, and you... Some exes can get back together after the healing's been done, the growth, and it works. It works. But then there's those other cases where it just, it's just, you get back with them several times and you're like, why do I keep doing this to myself? All right, what is divine power affirmation for Capricorn for October? Or whenever they see this video. I don't even know if I'm gonna label it October. I might label it timeless. And just tag October in there because I know people look for October. -y. It didn't flip all the way out, Spirit. So I think you're wanting me to. Hey! So how was that for a flip, Crystal? Jeez, y'all see that? Spirit. Didn't I just say you need to call on your ancestors? Did I? I'm shaking. Ancestral presence. This is your divine power affirmation for October and timeless. Capricorn. I wouldn't even say October. Timeless. I call upon my ancestors and trust their guidance. I am never alone. I am surrounded in love. Oh, we should have this as a prayer every day. Christina Jerry did this. If you want these cards, you can order them at xtinajerry.net. I hope you can see that. Christina Jerry. Good job. She's the one that created these cards. They're awesome. They're badass. Um, you should like go down in my page. <laughs> Subscribe first. Click that notification bell. Um, like, share, subscribe. And um, you can see some divine power affirmations that I've put on YouTube. And you can follow me on TikTok. Oh, Callie, me and this trident girlfriend. Um, don't stroke the trident, Crystal. That's that she me. Sorry. Um, my heart self. But... Um, yeah, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram too. I'll have all that crap in the description, okay? All the links, you can buy We Are Magic merch. We got coffee cups. Of course, I don't have the coffee cup here right now to show you, but we have all kinds of things, okay? So come join the We Are Magic family, Capricorn. All right, there was your, there was my little ad to myself. Yes, I call upon my ancestors and trust their guidance. I am never alone. I'm surrounded in love. I tell you, that's who's got their foot on your neck right now, Cap. They got their foot on your neck. They're like, no more, no more, no more. I don't want to hear it, but I love this job. No more. But she's my friend. No, she's not. But he's my soulmate. <laughs> no, he isn't. You know what I'm saying? But she's my everything. No, she's not. You see what I'm saying, Capricorn? But they hurt me. I need you to heal so we can send you a new person that knows your worth, Capricorn. Oh, shit, spirit. Whoo, spirit ain't playing today, Cap. Okay, I'm going to do your um, sacred geometry activation for 1010. All right. 1010. October is my birthday month, Capricorn. October 25th, 1975, I arrived. 45 years, how I'm grateful to be alive. Sorry, I didn't mean to break out of rap. But yes, I will be um, 46, Cap, this month. 
You know what that makes me say? I'm almost 50. Like, that's going to be it. <laughs> How are you? Almost 50. I'm almost 50. And then when I get to 50, 50. So I have to be 50 for four more years. Fuck it. All right. Spirits. Tapping into this new moon energy. I think the moon's a Scorpio right now. And this 1010 portal energy. When it's portal time, honey, you got to cut it. I see why the snakes are getting removed from our life. If you've had fake relationships, fake friends, fake jobs, fake everything lately, and it's just falling away, people revealing who they really are. Thanks, Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. They're like, we can't go into 1010, a hot mess. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not, Spirit. We will not have that. What is the sacred geometry? Mm. Oh, sorry. See this beautiful Metatron's cube right here. That is representing, <laughs> spirit's funny. This, the Merkaba, 32. This is, this is your 1010 activation. Y'all don't even know what's about to happen to you, Capricorn. You don't even know what's about to happen to you. The Capricorns that are tapped in, y'all like. But the ones are like, what is, what's a Merkaba? We're about to find out. We're getting hot. 32. Some of you may have a life path of a five. Or um, we're not going to get into numerology right now. Because I was heading that way. You see what I was doing? The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well. You hear that? Inheritance. You're not meant to be on this planet broke, busted, disgusted, and miserable your entire life. You came in that way as a lesson, so you know what it feels like to suffer. But you're not supposed to stay in that frequency. Get me? It activates our, and our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. Damn, Capricorn, they just going straight for your jugular. They're like, you know, it's time. I, we waited, and um, it's time to wake the fuck up. You know who I'm talking to if you're watching my video, homie. Stop playing human. You know you're a lot more important than that. We came here to have a human experience and you're really taking, you're one of those actors that's taken the role a little too far. Like you now some actors get so involved in the role of who they're portraying, they just become that and lose their home and their families and all the stuff. So yeah, I'm on, I, as to a specific person, um, there was someone in my life that was very powerful and um, can he shape shift he can astral travel, he can heal, he can do all the things, but is terrified of being who he really is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So it looks like your ancestors are going to shake the shit out of some of y'all. I mean, I know it's fun playing in the Matrix and everything because, I mean, if you're a victim, then it's, you know, it, it can't be your fault, right? It can't be our fault if, we're, if we stay the victim. Um, that's, a, that's called shadow work an inner wounded child healing. Therapy helped me as well. Now, my biggest therapist, the, I've learned the most recently from my higher self, best therapist out there. If, but if you are not comfortable with, um, inviting your higher self in to give you wisdom and to show you what your purpose is, then I suggest you go to a professional. Because playing the victim, oh God, my hair's a mess. Playing the victim um, is doing nothing for your life. But bringing more of that energy in for more attacks. So you can stay in that frequency. Like again, you create your universe, Capricorn. How far have I gone? Oh, it's almost 30 minutes. I'm so sorry. So yeah, Merca, but Supreme Consciousness, they coming in to activate all the portals, all the chakras, all the meridian points. You are energetic. You are already a spark of creator, a divine being. I love you so much, Capricorn. Thank you for hanging out with me. And remember, we are magic and we are one. And have a great October and a great portal. I love you all so much. Talk to you later. Bye.